Well, hello, everybody. Do you have your cuppa? I got my cuppa. Extra strong ground beans at home. Starbucks French roast. That's what gets me going every morning. And I got these cute little demi, demi toss cups at um, Home Goods, don't you know, with my, with my gift card from Capital Rewards. They're great. So I got four of them. So, of course, they aren't. This one is the original one that I'm using, and it hasn't broken. But if I bought the expensive little glass ones, I already would have been on my third pack. You know how that goes, right? Okay, okay, here we are. Now, I know this is a tough season. I know every day is a tough day. I know there are challenges <clears throat> that you either have caved to, want to cave to, fight caving to. And it's not an easy time of year. I'm telling you, the miracle of clean, intermittent fasting with an OMAD could, might, may make a difference in your life if you give it a try. Have you given it a try or are you a naysayer right from the start? If you've got the sniglies, you know what those sniglies are. <coughs> Excuse me. You've gotten close to your your goal, which is either like skinny jeans maybe, or something on the scale maybe, or somebody noticing maybe, or maybe you're in a diet bet challenge where you've got some money invested. If you haven't tried the clean intermittent fasting, and it's not just intermittent fasting, it's clean. I work with a man who yesterday, a couple days ago, <clears throat> He was having something for lunch, and he says he's a clean, intermittent faster. <clears throat> and he has whatever he was eating. It was at 9 o'clock in the morning, and then he has dinner after his shift, after 5. So he's got a big open window. He says it's working so far. We didn't get into it because when <clears> – <throat> I'm so sorry – when somebody says to me they're an intermittent faster and I say I am too, if they don't keep going with the dialogue, I zip it because most people don't want to know what works. Even though they could see it, they could, you know, in envy it, they could want it, but they don't really, really want to do the work. This is the least work I've ever done to weigh what I weigh, to have my skinny jeans fit day after day in my life. And I'm 72, so it works for me. And so that's why I'm here. Sorry, I'll put it over there. It's just so good. So I come on and I share what I do because it could be the miracle that you've been hoping for as well. When I say clean intermittent fasting, it's there is work involved in clean intermittent fasting. With every food plan that you've ever done, if you're my age and you probably have done three dozen of them like I have, there is a little bit of an adjustment period. Come on. I mean, like, you know, you can't not expect that, right? If you're used to having something, doing something, eating something like you have been all your life and suddenly you're going without it, it's going to be an adjustment. But once you get over to the other side, and I don't know how long it can take, I know that the longest adjustment period for me was going from the loaded keto coffee to just black, please. That was the longest adjustment, and it took some time. I never went backwards in it, but I did it so slowly. You know, first I gave up the butter and the ghee. Then I gave up the heavy cream. Then it was just like keto creamer. I don't know if you've seen it. It's like super coffee. I would have that with my xylitol in my coffee. And then there was giving up. I don't even know which one I gave up first, the sweet or the cream. I don't know. I can't remember. But because I'm one of those that just keeps moving forward, it did take a while. But to get to the clean intermittent fasting, the miracle for me is just black coffee, just black, not a, not a drop of this, not a taste of that, no mayo, no creamer, no, 
sugar, no. Artificial sweetener, no. Alternative sweetener, which is like erythritol, xylitol, um, stevia, things like that. Just pure black coffee. And then the see-through stuff, the water. No flavors, no sweeteners, no enhancers, no nothing. No nothing. Just regular water, either still or with bubbles. When I have my bubbles, it's San Pellegrino. Plain, unflavored, just mineral water with bubbles. When I have my plain water, it's from the tap that we you know, put through a couple of filters, or it's like a bottle of smart water, not the fancy capped ones. You'll see they have a different color. No, it's the blue cap. It is straight, unflavored, still water. In the morning when I wake up, I have Element, L-M-N-T, little packets, expensive, very expensive, but convenient. I do it. It's what I do. I'm only having one meal a day, so I'm not spending a lot of money on like three meal a day type of lifestyle like I used to. So I will have that in the morning, unflavored. Yes, they have flavors. Yes, if you order boxes of it, you will get a free 12 pack of the flavors. Don't have it during a fast. Have that in your OMAD if you can't wait to try all the flavors that they have. They do look good, they do sound yummy, and people rave about them, but I get the unflavored. My palate is used to bitter. My palate doesn't need the sweet, or I should say, whatever it is, whatever it is that is sweet comes in the version of an apple, an orange, or a banana. Those are the things I really kind of stick to. I bought a little tote of gala apples, uh, Really, they're, they're no bigger than this. They're probably a three ounce apple. It's perfect. I, I knife it. You know, I slice it off, take the time to chew it. It's the end of my meal. Then at that point, I know it's like bathroom time. OMAD is over. It's time to floss and brush and the day is over. Well, actually, then I have my, my final glass of water with my supplements and my supplements are magnesium. Um, I get the bio optimizer and then regular magnesium and then I take a BC zinc I think BCD zinc um, yeah so very simple that's at the end of the day at the beginning of the day is the element little packet of electrolytes that are measured out potassium magnesium and and uh, sodium salt uh, so that's it. But yes, the sweet that I, that I feel that I need, I have satisfied in my journey of now allowing fruits back in. I miss them from before. I remember when I went carnivore, I must have done some good work on my gut, but then I began to miss the vegetables. And so I've been doing that, but then I began to miss the fruit. And so I've included that. I'm not an apple a day person. I'm more like an orange every day. And it seems to work. You know, it takes a while to eat an orange, to peel it and to eat it and to pull off the little veiny things. It takes a while. Meanwhile, for my addict, my head, my brain, I've had my main meal and my body is slowly saying, oh, you had some food. That was good. It's filling and then I'm slowly eating that piece of fruit. Sometimes I have, um, sometimes I have the highest fat, 6% fat, um, good culture cottage cheese with sliced banana on it, slivered almonds on it, a tablespoon of raisins on it, sometimes a little smattering of granola as well. That satisfies the sweet, the raisins work, the banana works. And so my body is saying, you're full girly. Usually when I start my OMAD, it does take 45 minutes to an hour to eat everything, to fill my tank, to get me to the next day. And it works and I keep doing it. If there is a treat that I have to have, and this time of year, you're gonna have, you're gonna see that they're out there in full force, the food pushers, everything. 
And I find that to avoid a food pusher, if you say to them, I'll have it at home with my OMAD, I'll have it at home after my meal, they, sh they shut up. You can, you can make them go away. If you just keep saying no, then they'll bully you, they'll ridicule, they'll, they'll tease you lovingly, I don't think so, in front of other people. Oh, she won't have any, but, you know, these cookies that I made last year, she ate six before I turned my back on her. <clears throat> Take them home, put them into your OMAD, and enjoy every darn bite. That's how I look at it today. And it continues to work. I weigh myself once a month, and I weigh what I weighed in the third grade. No kidding. I'm not kidding you. I have never, ever found something where I am totally satisfied and satiated, and my addict is satisfied and satiated before I close my window for the day. It works. I, I just can't stress it enough. I've been an accountability coach, a keto food coach. I've done a lot of those sort of things for people. Yes, I do charge a fee, but it works. And, you know, I do my videos just sharing what works for me as an older woman. And I just can't stress it enough. There's no secret sauce. If, if you want the secret sauce, have it in your OMAD, right? It just is something that I am so excited about. I'm so delighted about. My life has a calm that it never had before in all my years of eating. Of course, since I'm 72, I've had a lot of years of eating, right? <laughs> so I just encourage you to give it a try. If things are too hectic now and you're a little bit out of control and you're expecting a weight gain through the season because you're under so much pressure, just taking this on at this point would be like not good for you, I understand. Wait, if that's what you have to do. If you have discovered the clean intermittent fasting with your OMAD lifestyle, what a blessing this time of season is. You, you just lift off all those anvils, all those rocks, all that pressure that has you crazy from saying no or caving or really, you know, the remorse, the regret, the self-loathing. You don't have to have that with the clean intermittent fasting and the OMAD. Put it in your OMAD. Shut up the food pushers. Take it in a baggie. Take it in a food container. Bring it home with you or, you know, leave the party or whatever it is that you have to do. Include it into your OMAD with no regret. Enjoy it. Life's too short. No deprivation, okay? But it ends. It, you know, you're... You, I had to learn portion distortion and portion control, and I've learned it. And, you know, whether, no matter what it is, when I have it, I know that it's not the last time. It's not a food funeral. How many food funerals have you conducted in your life? Hundreds, probably. I know I did. Well, it's there, and I bought it, and I don't want to waste it, and I'm never eating it again after Tuesday, so I might as well finish it all off now. When the portion says it's this much and you have this much because it's still there and you don't want to waste the $4.99 that you spent on it, right? <laughs> Nothing I haven't done many, many times. Now I will have a portion. I've got little, little bowls and a little bit bigger bowls and big bowls and then huge bowls. I've got little plates, little forks, little spoons, little knives. Honest <laughs> I may look like I'm crazy, and I may be crazy, but it helps with the portion. If I have the tiniest bowl I've ever had from Pier 1, and it's overflowing with something, it seems to me like a win. It's like, look, I'm having an overflowing bowl of, and I have this tiny little demi tasse spoon, which is what you'd use to put your sugar in in the old days, right? Um, it works. I don't know why. I've just trained myself to see abundance in something. I don't have a bowl like this with, you know, a fifth of a cup of something in it. No. <clears throat> it's an overflowing, tiniest bowl that I could ever find. These sort of things just work for me. I fooled my mind. I know it's not depriving myself. I know that, you know, it's not the last time I'm going to have it. I could have it again next week, next month, next year. 
And so I can put a lot of the dialogue, you probably have a dialogue inside of your head like I did, where you're convinced, you know, you're telling yourself all those things. You go through the whole thing as you look at that Christmas cookie. Just take the Christmas cookie, put it in a baggie, put it in a container, bring it home, include it in your OMAD, and just enjoy the heck out of it. That's what life is about. What is it, December 16th today? Yeah, so enjoy yourself. Clean intermittent fasting with the OMAD is my secret sauce, is my miracle, is what works for me at 72. So I just want to share. Maybe it could work for you too. Don't be a naysayer unless you've tried it. I'll, and it, yeah, it takes a bit of an adjustment, but you won't regret it when you're on the other side. Trust me. As she scratches her back. I will see you here the next time. Have a good weekend. This is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Clean Intermittent Fasting and OMAD. Bye-bye for now.